Hi everyone, good day and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Tim and today we're going to connect and mount an iSCSI LUN using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. Now this video is a continuation of my previous video where I took a RHEL 6 server and I created an iSCSI LUN and target on it. So if we go back to my other server, let me show you the host name sand.example.com if I type in the command tgt admin dash s you see that we already have an iSCSI target that has been created and a LUN of 2 gigs which has been created as well so let's close this and go back to our previous system so for this exercise you do need an open iSCSI LUN and you need a RHEL 6 DVD YUM repository if you're not sure as to how to set up these two services, you can watch my previous videos. I go into detail as to how to set these up, to set these two services up. And from there, we're just going to follow these uh, instructions. And the first thing to do is install the iSCSI Initiator Utility. So let's get started. It says yum install iSCSI Initiator Utils and it's only 1.7 megs in size, so it's not that big. It doesn't take that long to install, and we're done. The next thing we want to do is enable iSCSI and boot up. To do that, we type check config iSCSI on, and we're good. Next, we want to connect to the LUN. Now this can be a bit tricky, so but we'll be okay. iSCSI, we'll type in iSCSI ADM for admin, dash M for mode, our mode is discovery, dash T for type is ST or send targets. So right now we want to, s to discover the name of the targets on the server. Dash P for portal, and the portal is sand.example.com. And you see that this is the name of our target which we want to connect to. So let's use the same command again, but this time dash M and N for node and dash T for the target name. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. I want to put down dash p again for portal and it's sand.example.com and finally dash l to log on to the target. I hit enter and we have successfully logged on to the target. Excellent. So now we want to format the LUN to an extended 4 file system. To do that we have to go to fdisk and dev it's SDB. SDA is my main or my first hard drive with my OS on it, which is RHEL 6. So SDB is the LUN which, which we have just connected to. I'll hit enter, I type P, and you see that the disk is 2 gigs in size. So I type N for new. I'm going to create an extended partition. Give it partition number 1. And I'm going to use the defaults now so that the whole disk will be used. I'll type N for new again to create a logical partition and once again I'm going to use the default. I type P and we see that we now have a new Linux partition on the LUN. Let me type W to write to the partition table and we're good. Now we want to format, format it with the extended 4 file system so it's MKFS extended 4 dev sdb5 I hit enter and we're done very good so now let's mount the LUN to a folder so I'm going to create a folder called data on the root I'm sorry mk data and it's right over here let me clear this now to mount this I'm going to edit the fstat file. Now when it comes to iSCSI 
and RHEL 6, it is best to mount a LUN using the UUID or the Universal Unique Identifier. If you don't, problems could occur. Now to find the UUID, you type BLKID and you see right here our new partition and this is the UUID for it. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to edit the FSTAT file. I'm going to paste and right here I say that's mounted to data. It is an extended four file system. And now this is very important. I'm going to put down net dev instead of defaults because this is telling the system to mount the data and the LUN only after networking has been set up because it doesn't make sense to try to mount the LUN when your network uh, when your networking is not up okay so let's type 00, zero after that right quit and you type mount dash a to mount everything and I'll type mount again to see what's mounted and look data has been mounted and it's been mounted with read write and net dev options excellent so let's do a little more testing let me do df dash h data and we see that the data folder is connected to the new LUN and the new partition we created and it's 2 gigs in size so excellent we did what we wanted to do so let me close this so this concludes our demonstration. I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the bottom. So take care everyone. Have a wonderful day. God bless.